Hello friends and welcome to part 6 of improving life and feeling better. So lately people have been asking me what I personally did to overcome my depression. Well, it's not exactly something that is pretty orthodox. So now everyone, I've been giving you advice on how to overcome depression and other things. Most of this advice is mostly just to prevent it originally. Keep that in mind. But you've got to realize everyone has their own ways of dealing with it and mine was to watch anime now I know it sounds weird but watching anime to me is just the most relaxing stress-free thing to do the new episode of One Piece I usually don't watch it until the next one is out reason for this is in case I get angry or upset by something I could watch it so I like to keep anime in my life just so I could use it whether it's for overcoming depression, boredom, anger, whatever it may be. But anime is something that I need to have in my life at all times. Now this being said, I'm one of those people who are anime is love, anime is life kind of a person. So yeah, anime is my personal antidepressant. And for some people, it will work out as well. But personally, I can't promise you anything. So for me, it's anime. For you guys, it could be something else. That's why I'm teaching you guys every trick I could find. Now, the second trick for today will be... Well, it's actually three in one. Because people do relax in different situations. Some people ride a bike. You, if you don't know how to ride a bike, you could take a walk. So if you're going to ride your bike, go up and down the street, go around town, just it, just burn the energy. you got to burn all that energy from the depression, from the anger, whatever it may be. So just keep pedaling until you feel better. This usually takes people about half an hour to an hour. So just keep going. The same situation works for walking. So now walking uses less energy, so it's probably going to take you an hour to one and a half hours, maybe even two. Now, the third thing is go for a drive. Because personally, whenever I'm driving, I'm so relaxed. I focus on nothing but the road because I do enjoy my speed. I have a muscle car, so I do enjoy my speed. And whenever I'm on the highway, if you're ever in the car with me, you might get scared. Because I'm one of those people, I will literally, my eyes will open up wide and I will just focus on everything. So I could literally just navigate through traffic without any issues. I feel like I'm in the middle of a high-speed pursuit. It's crazy. I love it. It's definitely a jolt of energy. Now... The last thing I want to tell you guys for today is to laugh. I don't care what you're laughing at. You can even laugh at me. I have a couple of other videos. They're funny. They're really so stupid that they're funny. And yeah, you guys might enjoy it. Like, please, go find something funny. Laugh at it. Don't laugh at other people's expense. Because then they're going to be depressed. You don't want to make others depressed just to feel happy. That's not the right way to go. That's called bullying. And that's something I'm totally against because my entire childhood was nothing but. So, yeah. I want you guys to go out there and laugh. Go watch a funny movie. I don't care what it is, but you guys need to laugh. Also, laughing is great because it's one hell of an ab exercise. You, you, this in itself is a funny statement. Laughing is actually a better workout than doing sit-ups. So, yeah. Laugh, laugh, and laugh some more. Eventually, I'm going to be posting funny videos that are just so embarrassing or retarded or everyone likes explosions. So, yeah, I do too. So, explosions are funny sometimes, and I'm going to see if I can make some of those. Like, yeah. So, guys, laugh. I want to see those smiles, like the Joker. 
why so serious? So yeah, guys, you gotta laugh a little bit harder. So let's do this. I got faith in you guys. Please stay strong. I know you can. Goodbye, guys. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys next week.